have an obsession and I need to share it with you. It is my new post-workout meal. Oh my God, I had it this morning. I haven't even shared it with my clients. It's, it's so good. So I thought it would be really fun to do a short little video on my new obsession, my pre-workout meal and my post-workout meal. My pre-workout, I will show you tomorrow morning so you can actually see me in action. Tonight, it is Monday, it is eight o'clock, and I am putting my post-workout meal together already so that it is ready to eat as soon as I get home from the gym. When I'm putting this together, ignore my nail. I just broke it cleaning the kitchen. I'm so mad. I hate that. So ignore me, but this is my new obsession. I don't know how to say this word. I'm gonna fuck this word up. Let me ask Siri. Muesli. I thought it was muesli. Muesli. Muesli is my new obsession and all it is, it's nothing special, but it's special to me. It is oatmeal, berries, seeds, and nuts all together in one little thing. And what I do is I make overnight chia seed muesli. <gasps> it is so good. To me, I like it better than overnight oats. It like soaks better. It's, I don't know. I have, I got this um, Evoke. This is the brand I got at my grocery store. And I'm actually going to be making my own muesli because it's so easy. You just put these ingredients together. So I'm really gonna make a nice yummy one myself. But this is all natural. It's not sweetened with anything extra. That's why I really love it. And it's the antioxidant blend. So it's whole grains, oatmeal, goji berries, uh, cacao nib, walnuts, and blueberries. And that's literally, or, and then organic rye flakes. And that's it. It is so good for uh, 41 grams or a third of a cup. It is 160 calories, 2.5 grams of fat and 28 carb. It is, I made overnight oats last night and it was fucking perfect. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. So the serving size looks very small, but it actually gives you when you soak it, it gives you a good amount. Okay, so I put one serving, 41 grams, and that's all it looks like. Really sad, huh? But that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we are gonna add one tablespoon of chia seeds, which is great for your digestion, for fiber, and that's why I love it in this recipe. It also helps keep you full. And so I just do one tablespoon. I don't weigh it, I just do a tablespoon. And then I soak it in my other new obsession, flax milk, what? Flax milk plus protein. It is the vanilla, vanilla unsweetened. This bad boy, listen to these macros right here. One cup is 60 calories three grams of fat, one carb, eight grams of protein. Oh my God. It is so good for you. I mean, flax seed is so good for you. So it has a bunch of omega threes. So I do a half a cup. And I stir it around. And then I sprinkle in some stevia and some cinnamon. And this little mixture, it like soaks up all of the milk. And I love using flax milk in here just because I feel like it's like, like thicker or something. It's like thick and creamy. I don't know, it's, it turned out amazing this morning. So I'm gonna do, a, I love a bunch of cinnamon. And then some stevia, nothing crazy. And then I just stir it on up. And I leave it in the fridge overnight. And I'll show you tomorrow uh, how I actually eat this because this is not all I eat. It's only 28 grams of carbs. You need more carbs post-workout. Your post-workout meal should be your highest carb meal of the entire day. And 
this is when I when I'm finished with it. So I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what else I do with this, but we are not even close to done. But this is perfect too. Mm -hmm. I love flax milk. This is perfect uh, to make the night before. And then the, I dress it up and make it more exciting, which takes no effort at all. So it's totally a perfect meal that you can make, um, that you can put together like in the morning if you're busy. But all of this liquid is going to is going to get so thick. Everything is gonna expand. The chia seeds are gonna soak it up. The oats are gonna soak it up. The berries, everything. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. And I will see you tomorrow morning for my pre-workout meal. It's a little weird maybe. I don't think it's weird, I think it's delicious. So I will see you tomorrow for my new obsession. I'm so excited. Good morning. I am ready to show you guys my pre-workout meal. This is a little snack. It's early in the morning, so I don't like to have a big old breakfast. I go to a workout class that is intense. We lift, but we also do a lot of cardio, plyometrics, running, jumping, sled pushes, things like that. So I'm not gonna have like, a bowl of oatmeal or like eggs and toast. It's just too heavy, especially this early in the morning. So I like something quick, something high in carbs, fast digesting, and something that's gonna give me energy, that natural energy. So this is so good. I already had one cracker, so I was super hungry when I woke up this morning. And so it's so simple. All, <laughs> all it is is saltine crackers topped with honey. And I don't want you to be scared and think honey is bad or saltine crackers or white crackers so you can't have them. Get all of that out of your head. This is going to digest so quickly and you're gonna get so much natural energy. You're gonna be able to really freaking kill your workout. It is my favorite and the salt on top of the saltines with the sweet honey, it's just, it's so good. So I have four crackers here. I mean, this is what I do in the morning. I got the idea to do this when I was sick last week and it was so good. And I have this raw honey with the honeycomb from Trader Joe's. I like to get like the raw, real stuff. And I just do that and I just top it all over all of my little saltines and it's the best tasting thing ever. Five saltines is 12 grams of carbs. So, and then I top it with the honey. Um, so I don't really know how much honey I use. I kind of, I don't go crazy with it because a lot, I mean a little goes a long way with honey. Um, but I just definitely want to make sure I have honey ooh, on every single one. I'm having my clients do this. It's just, it's so good. Mm. And then I just do a little sprinkle of cinnamon because cinnamon is like a natural thermogenic. It really supports your metabolism. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm about to head out the door. My gym is about, it's about, I don't know, with traffic, maybe a 30 minute drive, 25 minute drive. So I try to eat this right before I go because it is such a low volume, but fast digesting. It's so good, babe. Something so simple. It's so good. Oh my god. So, if you want to try this pre-workout, you just have to. You have to try it. Let me. I have to leave like right now. But let me just show you my overnight muesli and let's see how it, I didn't look at it yet. I want to see how it thickened up. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's gorgeous. Today's going to be such a freaking good day. Look at this. Look, you see, it's not even moving. So it's so nice and thick. And you could probably, I could probably even add more water maybe to make it more voluminous. I'll play around with it because I don't want it milky. I don't want it too liquidy. I like to have it thick. Um, and I'm gonna show you after my workout what I do with this. So I'm gonna have this pre-workout and then when I'm on my way to the gym, just to fill you in since this is a pre and post workout uh, video, I have a scoop of my vegan BCAAs from 1UP Nutrition. 
and then a half a scoop of the pre-workout for women. And I sip on this when I go to the gym. And then in here I have the vanilla ISO protein. So I sip on my protein when I'm on the way to the gym. And then when I come home, I have my overnight mucilli, which I will show you what I do with that. So I'm gonna finish my crackers, head on out to the gym, and I'll see you for my post-workout meal. Hey, I am back from the gym and I am ready for my breakfast, my breakfast. I can't wait for my breakfast. I love this meal, oh my goodness. Okay, so I have a little mug. I like this one because it's shallow, it's nice and open. And I have my overnight mucilli that is not rock hard, it's just like Thick. Oh my god, it's so good you guys. I'm so excited for this right now. I can't even freaking stand it So I have granola here. This is my favorite granola It is from a restaurant like a little cafe called raw juice this granola. I honestly don't know I cannot recreate it. It's the best granola I've ever had So any granola that you guys like this is just my favorite so I do a quarter of a cup and I just layer it on the bottom one nice layer. I have a little bit more in here that I'm gonna top. And then what I do is I have some blueberries and raspberries, organic blueberries and raspberries that I just uh, rinsed off. Blueberries are amazing post-workout because they are full of vitamin C and vitamin C helps with stress. And after you work out, you just stressed your body. And then the raspberries have fiber. Um, obviously, both of these have a bunch of antioxidants, super good for you. And I kind of just like rip it apart a little bit. All right, that's what it looks like so far. And then, because this is post-workout, so you guys, I'm going all in. I, I'm gonna drizzle the berries and the granola just with like a little bit of honey. When I was tracking my macros, oh my God, you would never catch me dead eating honey. Oh my God, this is like, it's so funny how I used to think about food and now I'm just like, I eat, I eat good quality things and it just digests so well. Um, I swear that's the secret, just eating really good quality things. So, and then after I drizzle it with honey, I take out all of this thick, overnight muse look at all of oh i don't want to drop it but all the chunks of the dried fruit the cacao nib cacao nibs are like chocolate oh my god so good and there's chia seeds in here which is going to help me stay nice and full and also support my natural digestion all right And then all I do, that's what it looks like. And then all I do is just top it with a little bit more berries, some bloobs, some raspberries. I'm gonna do a little bit more granola on top. You're gonna have to tell me if you make this. Don't be scared of all the carbs. They are, it's perfect post-workout. And like I said, you can totally, if you wanted to just have the overnight muesli, maybe sprinkle some granola for some crunch or totally skip the granola, you can do that. Um, you can really customize it to make it as you know calorie friend friendly as you want because the overnight muesli is just 28 grams of carbs, 160 calories. So it's really just like what you top it with and how much granola you use, if you use any honey, if you use any fruit, but Oh my gosh, crunchy, sweet, sticky, juicy. I love it. Mm. Oh my god. I love this so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna savor this. I'm going to I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make some golden milk, some turmeric golden milk, which don't worry, I'm gonna have a new, another video where I'm gonna give you that recipe. And I'm gonna sit on my couch and just enjoy this slowly and really, really enjoy it. So I will talk to you guys 
in the next video. I am going to be coming out with maybe some shorter little videos like this just to give you like a quick look into like some of my favorite things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please comment below if you're gonna try either of um, these recipes, the pre-workout and the post-workout. So I will see you in the next one, bye.